My name is Hiroki Matsuchi, and you are listening to Bridges, a weekly showcase of a single content creator in Japan and their content. This is episode number 16. And today, we are featuring some content that is near and dear to my heart, now probably because it is one of my other projects that I do right here on this very internet.、Uh, I know you might all find it hard to believe,、uh, but Bridges is actually a spin off of another show I do called the Bad Communication Podcast. Which、uh, coincidentally is also a spin off of another project.、Um, I do this、uh, other show, the Bad Communication Podcast, with a co host.、Uh, his name is Andrew Hawkins.、Uh, there are a few reasons why I chose to dedicate、uh, this episode to bad communication.、Uh, the first is、uh, I've actually redesigned the、uh, content creator directory page off of the Bridges podcast to include these kind of、uh, pictorial links to all of the video previews,、uh, also known as the Bridges episodes that I've done. Uh, over the past, I guess, about six to eight months. Eight months? Yeah, about that long.、Uh, the second,、uh, after dedicating the past 15 episodes to other content creators in Japan, I thought it was about time to give、um, you know, my other little side project a little bit of credit. And the third reason is、uh, probably the biggest reason I'm just coming off the Golden Week vacation, and I have to admit, I'm feeling a little bit lazy. So,、uh, I'm sure most of you out there, are, out there are familiar with the Bad Communication podcast.、Uh, but for those of you who are not, I've put together just a little clip show of some of the highlights from the past year. Please enjoy. So, you guys got something over there that's、uh, undermining、uh, all of our work and all of our studies, you know, as English teachers. You, you guys? <laughs> who are you talking to? <laughs> you, you and Hir-、uh, Hiroki and Ashley. We did develop this application. <laughs> well, but you're talking about it like it's the best thing since sliced bread. It is pretty cool. Yeah, so this is the、uh, Google Translate app, which is、uh, now for the iPhone. And this app is unbelievable.、Um, in addition to kind of being able to translate、uh, written text, both from English to a bunch of languages and a bunch of languages to English, it also recognizes speech. So, you press a button, speak in whatever language you want, it's more than 50 different languages, and it will actually transcribe that text into the spoken language, translate it, and you can even press a button and have it speak back to you. Wow.、Um, this application is unbelievable. And this brings Why us. Why study language? Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs>、uh, Ashley and I were talking、uh, during the break about another application called Word Lens,、um, which takes、uh, an image through your camera on your cell phone and in real time translates the, translate the text. The only demo I've seen so far goes from、uh, English to Spanish and Spanish to English, but this is the future. And I mean, combine Word Lens with Google Translate. And I mean, you, you have like a translator in your pocket. It's like the modern equivalent of the babble fish. It's pretty cool, though. You wrote, you wrote a really long article all about、uh, Google Translate. What are your thoughts on this, in my opinion, amazing technology? <laughs>、um, Still ain't perfect, right? No, of course not. Well, no, of course, yeah, not perfect, but. Um, I think you know, it's definitely worth the free download、yeah. <laughs> just for the text translation,、um, just being able to do that quickly. But just from trying out some of the speech,、um, for the most part, it was pretty accurate. And even if the wording was a little bit funny, which was usually if we went, my husband and I tried this,、um, just different phrases and whatnot, speaking from English to Japanese and Japanese to English.、Mm-hmm. Um, And sometimes the Japanese or the English comes out a little bit funny, but for the most part, the general meaning was still conveyed. So,、um, you know, in my, like, in my opinion, I think even if it's not a perfect translation, and obviously you shouldn't take it as, okay, this is exactly how I should say the sentence all the time.、Yeah. Um, if you're in, you know, if you're stuck in a situation or something like that, I think it's. It could definitely be useful, at to least just to、through. get the message across. Right. Yeah, so actually, I, I just popped open the application, and、uh, while you were speaking, I, I spoke into the application, Where is the toilet? <laughs> and of course, out comes, there you go, the katakana and hiragana sentence. And it's, a, it's actually a perfect translation in this case. Toile wa doko desu. Oh, doko desu ga would have been nice, but <laughs>、uh. that's, that's definitely close enough. Right. Anyway, so、uh, why don't we、uh, jump into our first story? Right.、Uh, of I which I am、one. an expert. I've never been caught yet. Yep.、I、it's because you, you do all of your groping in cars five and seven, right? Right. So now apparently, KO trains, trains in Tokyo are equipped with anti groping ca- cameras. Right. 
So Keio is the company that operates trains linking uh, Shinjuku, Shinjuku with um, Hachi, Hachiyoji. Hachiyoji, which is like a kind of western Tokyo yeah. suburb. And they've put surveillance cameras in the ceilings of one of the 10 car trains on the Keio line. I guess it's a different car every time. No, no, it's not. No, it's not? <laughs> but that, that's the thing that's so ridiculous about this story. Um, all of the cameras seem to be located only in car number six. Right. Um, because apparently, for, for whatever reason, this car is the most um, conducive to groping. Right. Uh, I can't I, imagine what it would most, be about the that most car. Report, the cases that were most often reported were from car six, I guess. Exactly, exactly. But apparently so the KO line is the worst line for Chikon. Yeah. Like they're the, um, they're the highest number of incidents. So I mean uh, of course uh of course for those of you who might know what the not know what the word Chikan is, do you mind explaining? It means groper, sexual pervert. Yeah, kind of yeah. like the two of us, right? Yeah, exactly. If you look it up in the dictionary, it's a bad joke. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, of course, you know, when I read this article, I thought, all right, that, that's pretty good. Like, they're installing cameras in the trains um, to prevent this kind of, or at least discourage this kind of crime from happening. They put them on the ceiling. Yeah, but I mean, that's the How thing. There's only, f there's only four cameras, and these four cameras are all located in car number six. And it's, it's not like they're saying there's four cameras that are hidden in one of these train cars, and you don't know exactly which one it is. That would be better. So, yeah, exactly. So that you should just... Sense kind of hedge your bets and not grope people on the train. But yeah. I mean, it's it's widely known that the cameras are in car number six. So I mean, why don't you just, if you were a groper, move to car number five or car number seven to do your groping? Exactly. Uh, which is uh, where we got our show title right. from. <laughs> yeah, so apparently um, over the past uh, year, 86 groping cases were reported on the KO line. And I mean, of course, these are 86 cases that were reported. Right. Um, doesn't necessarily reflect the actual number of uh, gropings. So the KO line is not to be confused with the KO line, which is right. JR, which goes to Tokyo at Disneyland. Anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah. I guess anyway. it's probably not the happiest place on earth in no. that case. Uh, yeah, so here's a, here's a quote from the uh, KO spokeswoman. <clears throat> we have decided to introduce surveillance cameras based on a police request, a KO spokesman said. But we will carefully consider how uh, we should expand surveillance because privi privacy issues are involved here. Really? Yeah, it's I don't know. public train. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a public train, but it's a privately owned line, too. I mean, so they have rights to put cameras wherever they want, just like, you know, a convenience store can put cameras yeah. wherever they want as well. It's I mean, of course, they can't, house, so. they, they can't put them in the bathroom, but, uh, right. yeah, I thought this was pretty interesting and kind of stupid at the same time. Yeah. Again, cars five and seven, you're home free. Right. It's the top ten things men don't want their significant others to know about. Yeah, so please uh, ignore the top ten that's in the chat room. It is not. Uh, it does not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the Bad Communication Podcast. Right. Okay, so coming in at number ten, that you take part in drinking parties. Yep. Number nine, that there's someone else who's interested in you. <laughs> that's always a dicey situation. Yeah. Number eight, that you still keep in touch with your ex-girlfriend. Although I guess this can de de vary depending on the person. Yeah, yeah. I think it goes both ways, too. Right. Number seven, your wasteful spending habits. Yeah, all of those uh, after-work stop-offs at the pachinko parlor. <laughs> right, indeed. Number, f number six, your blogging or social networking <laughs> activities. Hey, uh, uh, what, what are we doing right now? I, I think, uh, I think oh, both crap. us and every single person in the chat room um, every single person in the chat room is guilty. Probably most of the people watching the show are guilty of, uh, you know, blogging or maybe less than, uh, less than, why did you say that? Not being so proud of their blogging or right. social network activities. Indeed. Okay, number five, that your room is messy. Hmm. That's actually one of those I can, uh, I can happily disagree with. Because you're a neat freak? Anyway. That is absolutely correct. I am anyway. Just a little bit shy of uh, obsessive compulsive. I don't know if you guys can see that that sweet bookshelf in the back. Okay, it's, I got a my Dewey Decimal System going on. Anyway, I mean, sorry. Go ahead. Number four is your your true ideal type of woman. That is to say, the kind of your favorite actress or your favorite model. I, I guess the assumption is that your girlfriend does Doesn't not necessarily yes. <laughs> fit your true ideal type of woman. Right. Oh, fair enough. Okay. Number three, what's on your digital video recorder? Yeah, on your DVR. Yeah. It's uh, something I don't have. I guess the assumption is porn? I guess. Lots and lots of porn. Right. Or is it like, you know, Golden Girls reruns? 
Number two, <laughs> your savings account balance. Of course, because it's just unbelievably huge and you don't want your girlfriend right. to become a, a gold digger. Right, exactly. And coming in at number one, the contents of your computer. I guess the assumption with that one is also lots of pornography? Well, I don't know about you, but um, I'm a little more worried about the police finding out the contents of my computer. Ah, oh, wait, I I never mind. Anybody can use my computer anytime. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. I guess porn and uh, pirated files. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed that. And uh, thank you all again for listening to or watching episode 16 of Bridges. Please get in touch with us over at bridges at wanwan.fm with any comments, questions, or suggestions for future content creators to be featured on the show. And once again, my name is Hiroki Matsuchi, and this is Bridges, and thank you for watching. See you guys next week. Take it easy.